Hello friends. So in this video we are going to discuss about how do we install Android Lollipop in our Samsung Galaxy Grand phones. So before we install Android Lollipop in our Samsung Galaxy Grand phones, we need to install a custom recovery in our phone. That custom recovery installation is already covered in our previous video. So in case you missed that part, I just provided the link below this video. You can just check that part out and come to this video. So here, what we'll do is we will install the Android Lollipop files in our Samsung phone. So to do that, the first thing that we'll need is we would need the Android Lollipop software first of all. And that we can get from the XDA developers page of here that we do not have an official app have a official download available for the Android Lollipop. So we are going to depend on the XDA developers. We should be thankful for them to pro for providing us this great software. So here, this is Cyanogen Mod 12.1 that is nothing but the Android Lollipop. And here from the developers page, I have provided a link to the developers page also below the video. And here we have the ROM download page. And this uh, and we also have the page where we can download the Google Apps. I have provided link to all of these three, the developers page, the Google Apps page and the ROM download page in the video below. And from here we have downloaded the latest available Cyanogen Mod 12.1 for our installing on our phones this file do not install the delta files if you're going for a fresh install delta files are only meant for update from one official version to another official version suppose you install the file on 8 1 2016 and you want to get the updates of 1916 19 2016 you can use the delta file but if you want to have a fresh install you need to download the complete file not the delta file so we have already downloaded these files in our system and then the next thing that we need is the Google Apps. So in our Samsung Galaxy Grand, the Google Apps that we would need is the platform would be ARM, the Android version would be 5.1 and the variant of Google Apps will be Pico. Basically these are like Pico is the smallest file available that will support the minimum per the bare minimum things that Google needs to work, Google Play Store, Google services needs to work. Then as you go incrementally up, all the new features would be added. Stock is the version that you get all the standard in the Nexus app or in the other Android phones. The default package of Google apps that you get is, is included in the stock. But we'll go for Pico just for our convenience sake. It would, just, it would be lightweight, small and simple. So I have already downloaded these files in our system and then the next thing that we need to do is, so we need to download and put these files in our phone's memory card. Yeah. Once the download of the files is complete in our system, we have placed it in our fo phone's SD card. We we'll just check if, uh, if it is present in our SD cards. I have placed it in the lollipop folder here. You can see both the ROM file and the open Google Apps file, both of these are present in our phone. And then once they are placed in our memory card, what we need to do is we need to power off the phone and reboot the and restart the phone into the clockwork recovery mode. Once the phone is turned off, what we need to do is to boot into the clockwork mode recovery is that we need to press the volume the volume up button, the home button and the power button, three of these simultaneously. It's volume up, home and power. Once we see the Samsung logo, we can leave the power button and we can keep holding the volume up and the home button. And here we go. This will boot our phones into the clockwork mode recovery mode. So once we are in the clockwork mode recovery, the first thing we need to do is we need to do the wipe data factory reset. Come down, we can use our volume up and down buttons for the navigation and we can use our power button for selection. First thing that we need to do, wipe the data and do a factory reset. So it, uh, it asks us yes or no, we'll just say yes and it will do the uh, factory reset of our data. Ok, 
can see the data wipe is complete the next thing that we need to do is wipe the catch partition so here we are wipe the catch partition I say wipe the catch partition it asks, it asks us yes wipe the catch partition we can see that catch wiping is also complete next we need to go to the advanced you can see the last option advanced there and in the advanced option we need to wipe the Dalvik catch it asks us yes do you want to wipe the Dalvik catch and we would say yes we need to do that and the catch is also wiped the next thing that we need to go do is go back and install the Android lollipop file that we have just placed in our memory card we have we need to go to the option second option that is there install zip and we press ok and it asks us from which location should we install the file if it is in your internal memory choose the SD card and if it is in your uh, external memory choose SD card 1 we have placed it in our external memory so we chose SD card 1 and go to the folder where you have placed your files in our case it is the lollipop folder so I'd go to the lollipop folder and first we'll choose the OS file that is CM12.1 this is the ROM file that we need to choose and first we'll install the OS and it would ask do you want to install this following file and we'll say yes and let the OS up let the OS install these files and in some time the OS will be installed and the next thing that we need to do is install the Google app files so here we can see the installation of the ROM file was successfully completed from the SD card so next thing that we need to do is go back go back and we will install the second zip from the file the second zip is nothing but the google apps we will go to the folder lollipop where we have placed our google apps and we will see choose the file open google apps and we will click that file and it will ask do you want to install this file and we will say yes so here we go the google apps is installing on our phone now and as this is the pico file it should not take long time for us to install here we can see the installation from installation of the google apps is completed from the sd card and the next thing that we need to do is we need to reboot the phone so that we can start using the android lollipop in our phone we just go back and we say reboot the system now that is the first option available there and the phone is restarting <coughs> as this is the first time we are using this OS on the phone it would take some time to optimize all the applications hardly it would take 5 to 7 minutes for that to do and once that is done we are ready to use android lollipop on our phones language of our choice it would ask for signing into a wi-fi network we can skip that for later skip anyways and it would ask for a sim card to use for data you can just assign one of the sims next next and here we go we are ready to start with us and all we are ready to start with android lollipop got our welcome screen that's it we got our android lollipop running on our samsung galaxy grand phones thank you friends thank you for watching let me know in case you are ever stuck with anything or any process with the phones and write me a comment i may try to help you guys android version 5.1.1 and from my experiences with android marshmallow and android lollipop i have found out that android lollipop is quite more stable so i would prefer to sit back with android lollipop in my samsung phones for now Thank you friends, thank you for watching.